Hey everybody, this is Perch, and I know you're here to listen to another show, but uh, the reality is this writer strike has got me thinking. I, I really need to support the people who are out there making content, and I can't do it if I'm here making this show. So I'm doing what I probably should have done a long time ago, and we're turning this thing over to AI. So see you later, folks. Welcome to Comics by Perch, brought to you by AI thanks to the writer's strike where we unapologetically dive into the world of traditional superheroes and the frustrating changes they've undergone. I'm your host, insert name here, and buckle up because today, we're going on an angry rant about the rise of replacement characters. But first, let me remind you to support our show by visiting our crowdfunding page and becoming a patron on our Patreon. Now, let the rant begin. Okay. Seriously, what is up with the comic book industry these days? It seems like every classic superhero we've grown up loving has been replaced by some shitty new version. I mean, come on. Can't we just stick with the originals and let them shine? Let's talk about Batman, the Dark Knight himself. He's been an icon for generations, but now we have a slew of Bat family members running around in different costumes. We've got Batwoman, Batgirl, and a whole Bat Squadron. What happened to the days when Batman was the sole protector of Gotham, brooding in the shadows? These replacements water down the legacy and dilute the character's impact. And don't even get me started on Superman. The Man of Steel, the last son of Krypton, now we have Superwoman, Supergirl, Supercuck, and even Superdog for crying out loud. What's next? Superfish? It feels like the original heroes are being sidelined to make room for these new woke diverse versions, and it's infuriating. Look, I understand the importance of diversity and representation. It's crucial to have characters that reflect the world we live in. But on the other hand fuck diversity and representation. Why can't we create compelling new heroes instead of replacing the ones we already know and love? It's like the comic book industry has run out of fresh ideas and is taking the woke way out. Now, before I continue my I want to take a moment to remind you to visit our crowdfunding page and support our show. Your contributions will help us keep ranting about all things superheroes. Okay. Spider-Man, oh Spider-Man, Peter Parker was our friendly neighborhood web-slinger, dealing with real-life struggles while juggling his crime-fighting duties. But now, we have Miles Morales swinging in, taking over the Spider-Man mantle. Look, Miles is a cool character, but why can't he have his own unique identity? Must he take on the legacy of Peter Parker? It is a cheap gimmick to replace our beloved hero with a pregnant horsewoman. Look, comic book publishers, shut up. Fans love the classic superheroes for a reason. We grew up with them. We related to their struggles and triumphs. We invested in their stories. But by replacing them with new characters, you're undermining the legacy that has been built over decades. And while I'm at it, let me take another quick moment to remind you to support our show on Patreon. Your contributions will give us the resources we need to keep the pressure on against these ridiculous superhero replacements. In conclusion, comic book industry, stop with the replacement characters. Instead, focus on creating exciting and diverse new heroes that can stand on their own merits. Give us fresh stories and let the originals continue to inspire us. We want our superheroes back and you on the unemployment line. And that wraps up today's episode of Comics by Perch, brought to you by AI thanks to the writer's strike. If you enjoyed this rant, don't forget to visit our crowdfunding page and contribute today. Like and subscribe and thanks for listening. Also, screw you mumbles you miserable bastard. Your jokes suck and nobody likes you.